one in uh, ten uh, homeowners are behind in their mortgage payments. Uh, one in 25 homes in Southern California are in some phase of foreclosure. Uh, California and Florida have over 40% of the foreclosures uh, in, this, uh, in the country. Um, as you can see by looking at your maps, the foreclosure crisis is prominent here in Los Angeles, and I found, I found that when I looked at this map, it was one thing, but when I began looking at the neighborhood maps, it was impacted. There isn't a neighborhood in the city that's not impacted by this crisis, including uh, your own. It's a neighborhood uh, issue. Most of you already are aware of it because there are homes on blocks in your neighborhoods with uh, foreclosure signs up, or you know somebody who's dealing with the foreclosure issue or is out of work or is uh, a victim of this uh, uh, process. I said I'm the housing policy coordinator in the mayor's office and have been working on the foreclosure issue for the last uh, 18 months or so. The, our particular foreclosure crisis is that the three-legged stool, if you will. Um, the first leg of the stool is to improve access of is that the same uh, one? No. Thank you. Their prevention counselor. Uh, when this crisis started, one of the biggest challenges was to get people who were in trouble to reach out to good foreclosure counseling services. And one of the things that we did is we opened up our workshop centers. Our workshop centers are our employability uh, centers here in the city. We chose six that were closest to communities that have been, that have been the hardest hit. And we, um, we use those as conduits of information. And we also have begun to have foreclosure uh, clinics in those centers. So that was the first leg of the stool. The second leg of the stool was, or is, what to do with those homes that are lost, the vacant, foreclosed homes. And as I, some of you may know, we have received 30, $33 million from the federal government, $30 million after administrative uh, fees are taken out of that. And those will be, that money will be used to set up a program to uh, resell those vacant and foreclosed properties to qualified first-time home buyers. Um, and as you might have followed in the uh, stimulus bill, there was more money added to it. It's called the Neighborhood Stabilization Program. They initially put in $3.9 billion, and this time around they put in about $2 billion. Now, the third leg of the stool was, what do we do about blight in the neighborhoods caused by foreclosure? As you know, and I think maybe you've heard some of the, uh, some of the um, statistics that one of uh, one house on a on a block, a foreclosed home can lower uh, property values for the entire neighborhood sometimes by nine percent, by as much as nine percent, and that comes in part because of these properties fall into disrepair. And the idea that we had is who the people who know those neighborhoods are the people who live there, the people of the community. And we have this great system in Los Angeles, our neighborhood council system, of concerned stakeholders who know their community <coughs> best. So instead of trying to do something sort of top down, we thought we would, working with uh, Ken and all of you, to try something from the neighborhood on up. And to create a system that would give you the resources to monitor your neighborhoods and sort of in partnership then with the city to, to do something about the problems that we identified. And then also to facilitate a partnership between the neighborhood councils and those organizations, uh, nonprofit organizations that are doing good and credible work on the uh, on um, on foreclosures. 